In order to use Vbrick, find the icon on your desktop. It looks like this. It's white with um, a green quadrilateral on it. It'll bring you to a page that looks like this for your user login. <clears throat> you log in with your email, username, and password. And this is what it looks like. It should have your name here. Um, it's got at the top home, my videos, which are the ones you've uploaded, all videos that are available, and then add video. The add video button is not going to work until after you've logged in the first time, logged out, and then emailed Keith or Jeremy to let them know that you need permissions. Um, there's a featured video here that will change. And then at the bottom, you have your TV channels. There's the Disney Channel, History Channel, Discovery. I'll click Disney just to show you how it works. It takes just a minute to load. And voila, Disney is working. When you finally um, are able to add the video, I'm going to go back to the home. When you finally get to the point where you have permissions and you want to add your own video, there's a video down here at the bottom that says how to upload a video to vBrick. <clears throat> so it will give you that. If you want to look at all the videos, it will give you every video that's been uploaded and you can see who's uploaded them. Like <clears throat> this advertising tactics was uploaded by Sheila Campbell. And there's lots and lots of different ones. Uh, there's pages and pages. I'm going to type in talent show. And here is the 2012 talent show from OES that I've uploaded. So there are also some things in there that have been uploaded by our school. And if you have anything that you want to upload and you're having trouble with it, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you. But that's kind of vBrick in a nutshell. Um, you can use it as much or as little as you need to based on what your needs are. If you have any more questions, let me know. Thanks.